Oh man. Um Man, I am a boy, but like these girls are far too cute. It's not allowed. I'm going to be the blonde girl. Uh what is this girl's name? Shit if I know. Um let's have a black and white call back. Yancy. That's what her name was, wasn't it? It was Yancy. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 uh it's Yancy. That's some Pokemon black and white 2 shit for you right there. Look at how fucking cute she is. That's illegal, man. Uh, welcome to the first episode of Let's Play Pokemon Sword. I am Rafa Hog the Third, and I am uh, not gonna do a uh, a face cam for this one, uh, mostly because I'm sick right now, and I'm just kind of in my bed clothes. And uh, I guess that's just the way we're gonna be doing it. Uh, we're Yancey. We're going. There he is, pretty boy himself. Welcome, one and all. Welcome to the wonderful world of Pokemon. Our beloved Gala region is a wonderful place with thriving nature, beautiful cities, and many Pokemon with which we share our lives. As you know, our society is able to thrive. Whew. Thanks to the help from these mysterious creatures that we call Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon are all around us, in the sea and in the sky, and even with us in our towns. And those of us who choose to raise and train Pokemon to do battle and compete, we call them Pokemon Trainers. Oh, but I'm getting carried away. Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Rose, and it is a pleasure to be here. Now turn your gaze to the Gallery region's greatest Pokemon Trainer, your undefeated champion. It's time for Champions Leon's ex Exhibition Match. Couldn't read the word exposition there for a moment. There he is, pretty boy himself, appearing from a puff of smoke. Gwah! I just threw my arm up, you guys couldn't see it. Exhibition or not, Leon, your pristine record is about to end when I beat you here today. <laughs> you know I don't lose battles, Rayhan. Charizard, Dynamax. Oh, there he is. That's the boy. I wonder if uh, Blastoids and Venusaur got uh, special Dynamax moves. Dynamax forms. Or is it just Charizard? That boy has too much. Sweetheart! Yep, just texting away. That's us. Oh, that your flash new phone, Yancey? Flash new phone. Were you, ex were you watching Lee's exposition match on it? Uh, but you can't cheer him on with your hands full. You know the only way to properly cheer on Lee would be with his famous Charizard pose. Hop, didn't expect to see you here today, dear. Isn't this the big day? Yeah, that's exactly why I came running over to get Yancey. Never mind watching them. Never not, my, blah. Never mind watching the match now. I've got it recording at home anyway. I record all my brother's matches. Come with me, Yancey. He should be here any minute. And Lee always brings presents when he visits, so I wouldn't forget that bag if I were you. Now I've got to run. See you at mine later. Should I be giving everyone, like, British voices? It's the television that Mum uses to watch her comedy dramas. <laughs> to watch Doctor Who, I think you mean. Yeah, I saw that you could do this. I just wanted to get it done. And JoJo pose. Alright, we're good now. You grabbed your Mum's old bag. I'm gonna have to start giving everyone a British voice. It's gonna be nice and bastardized too. It's a brand new telly, ya mum bra. It's, I gotta start voicing everyone in a fucking British voice now, man. There's no run option. I guess we just automatically move at a running pace. Can I just take it slow? Yeah, I can just take it slow. Look at her doing the little trot down. Ah, oh, I love it. Uh, that old bag looks like it could pull you over. At least we know that it should hold anything Lee might bring, even if it's as big as a Snorlax. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I, I I, know we shouldn't underestimate the power of Hammer Space, but... A Wooloo? But what's it, what's it doing there? It's using Rollout on the gate. Don't go using Tackle on that fence. Now you listen. No going past that fence. No. Everyone knows there are scary Pokemon living in the slumbering well. Yeah, me too, Wooloo. Listen, I gotta do some exploring. Town of Potswick. A farming town since days of old where people and their Pokemon live in close harmony. That's sweet. Mom, is he here? There you are at last, Hop. Oh, and you brought along Yancey. Hello, dear. Yeah, yeah, but where's Lee? Have, have you got him crammed in a cupboard? 
He's still not here yet for the hundredth time. Honestly, Hop, you must learn some patience. He's probably only just arrived at the station in Wedhurst. Then that's where I'm going. You know Lee is hopeless with directions. I'll make sure he doesn't get lost on the way. Oh, will you? Yes, that's probably for the best. You've got to come with, Yancey. You've still never met my big bro, right? You can't miss out on your chance to meet the undefeated champion. We doing some snooping, though. Man, that's so weird looking at that thing standing on its hind legs. I always imagine that thing just chilling out on all fours. Oh, jeez. Check that out. That dude's all about... This dude's a Gen 1-er. The champion's a Gen 1-er, man. Or, no, this is Hop's room? It's one of the TVs that Hop... Uh, okay, this must be Hop's room, then. Whose room is this? Whose room is this? Why are there so many hats? Well, whatever. We'll just assume it's all Hop's room. There he is. It's the boy. How is he going to get lost coming from the station and going directly towards just... All you have to do is walk forward and you get lost, Lee? Jesus. Hello, hello, Wedcurse. Your champion, Leon, is back. I promise I'll keep doing my best to deliver the greatest battles for you all to watch. This guy's getting a British voice. Too true, that Charizard is blazingly strong, but the other Pokemon can be strong as well. That's why I want the strongest of challenges to fill the gym challenge and come battle me. My wish is for Gala's trainers to work together to become the strongest in all the world. You guys can't see it, but I'm like gesticulating with my hands. Pardon, plebeians, I must talk with my younger brother. So my number one fan in all the world has come out of his way to pick me up. <laughs> Look at you, Hop. I reckon you've grown exactly an inch and a quarter since the last time I saw you. Bingo, that's the sort of sharp eye that's kept you undefeated for lo so long, eh, Lee? And these bright eyes over here. I've got it, you must be Yancey, am I right? I've heard loads about you from my little brother. I'm the Gala region's greatest ever Pokemon champion, and a massive Charizard fan too. People call me the unbeatable Leon. Come on Lee, you and Yancey, I bet I can beat both of you back home. That Hop, always wanting to be the best, isn't he? With a proper rival of his own, I'd bet he'd push himself to become something truly special. Well, everyone, I bid you farewell for today, but don't you fret. I'll always be around to make sure everyone in Gala can have a champion time. Come on, Lee, you promised us a present, so out with it. You brought Yancey and me Pokemon, didn't you? I know you must have. <laughs> right then, the greatest gift from the, ch from the greatest champion. It's showtime, everyone. Take a good look, you two. The grass type Pokemon Grookey, the fire type Pokemon Score Bunny, and the water type Pokemon Sorbel. There they go. Also, I've decided I'm going with Score Bunny. Um, just because, like, I've actually never started with a fire type Pokemon. So. Aw, oh, poor score bunny. Ah, uh, I guess that's why they call him Sobble. <laughs> Alright, line up everyone. Yeah, I gotta choose. We gotta choose the boy. Which will you choose? Uh but yeah, we go in with score bunny. Uh, just because, like, I've never started with a Fire-type Pokemon. With uh, Gen 1, it was Pikachu, because I played... Uh, go on, you pick first. I've already got my Wooloo, after all. Uh, but um, Gen 1, it was Pikachu, and uh, so I didn't really have a choice. Gen 2, I chose uh, Chikorita in Pokemon Crystal. Gen 3, that was Hoenn, and I knew there was lots of water, so I went with Mudkip, so I'd have an HM Slave right off the bat. Uh, Gen 4 was uh, Platinum, and in that one, I went with Hiplup. Uh, Gen 5 was Black and White, if I remember right. When I went with um, Smugleaf, as I like to call him. Um, Superior was the final evolution. I literally don't remember the first um, evolution for, uh, for Superior. His name's just Smugleaf. 
uh, after Black and White was, I guess, Black and White 2. So with that one, I went, um, you know, I guess I went Tepig with that one, but that was, like, after I knew the region, so, like, I guess it doesn't really count for me. And Fire Red Leaf Green, I guess we have to talk about those. I went with, uh, Bulbasaur, uh, with <sighs> Heart Gold Soul Silver, I still went with Chikorita, and let's see, Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, I still went with Mudkip. Uh, because the HM Slave stuff. But, and then, okay, so X and Y, I went with, um, the Water Boy, or Greninja. Um, and in Sun and Moon, I went with, uh, Rowlet. So, like, this will be, like, the first time I've ever actually started with a Fire-type Pokemon in a game that I don't know. So, we're going with Score Bunny. Yeah! <laughs> Pound it. And I'll go with Grookey. You're mine. I'm aiming to be the next champion, so be ready. And I'll be doing some serious training. You and I will be doing some serious training. Don't get your hopes up, dude. I've got so much more experience than you'll ever have. And you'll come with me. Charizard will show you the ropes. He's strict. He's strict, but he is strong and real kind, too. Believe in your partner Pokemon and care for them too with all your heart. Don't let's do do those two things, and I'm certain you'll learn to choose the moves that suit your Pokemon. And more importantly, to have a champion time battling with them. Looks like everyone's on board, Pokemon and trainers alike. Then let's do this. I've watched every match that Lee's ever had. I've read every book and mag magazine he left behind at home too. I know exactly what to do in order to win. Yeah, it takes more than smarts to be a proper Pokemon trainer, my dude. Hop. Hopper. All right. So, let's go ahead and fight, and let's do a tackle. Boop. Woo. Nice, that's a level up. We're looking at ooh, some pretty good stats. Good on attack. Speed and special defense are pretty solid. Learned Ember, cool. Yeah, you, you chose the grass type one, my dude. That's weak to mine. It's about to fucking die! That one might have just been luck, though. You beat my two Pokemon with your one? You and, you and that score bunny are too much. $400. Well, that was a shock. Guess I know. Guess I know now why Lee thought he should give you a Pokemon, too. You and your Pokemon all fought hard. Made me almost want to let out Charizard and join in, all, join in on all the fun. You should have let out, uh, Sobble? Jeez. Could have hurt out their score, buddy. Why don't I get you all sorted? And Yancy, you've got real promise. In fact, I've got a favor to ask you. Be a real rival to Hop, would you? Push him and make the both of you stronger. I already want to get stronger and stronger. You've seen me battle now, Lee, so come on, you've got to let me take on the Pokemon Gems. You join the Gem Challenges? You think you're ready for the single greatest competition in the Gallo region? Not putting the cart before the Rapidash there, little brother. If that's really what you want to do, you two have a whole lot you need to learn about Pokemon, especially your friend Yancy. Before you think about getting Gem Badges, best to think about getting a Pokedex. The trainer's Pokedex helps them learn lots of things about all the Pokemon out there, including their strengths. But it's more than just a collection of data. Data, 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 whatever, you know. It's a record of a trainer's love and passion for Pokemon training. Right, right, we get it, Pokedexes then, we're on it. Looks like it's off to the Pokemon Research Lab for you and me, Yancy. That's the kind of enthusiasm a trainer needs. I'll let the professor know to expect you. 
I'm going to be the next champion, so completing a simple Pokedex will be nothing. Just another page in the, ta in the tale of my legend. You'd probably better go tell your mom that we're heading out, though. Oh, jeez. Nancy, did you hear that just now? The gate's open and the Wooloo that was there. Hmm. It made its way into the thing. It was tackling that French fence pretty hard earlier. You don't think it actually broke through there, do you? Well, I mean, the gate is open. It's off limits. Nobody's supposed to go in there. I remember the professor's granddaughter went in once and she came back in a real state. That was nothing compared to the earful she got from the professor afterwards. Yancey, what do you say? We gotta save it, right? Even if we're not supposed to, this is the kind of scene where you simply have to do what's needed. Hope you're ready for anything because we're going in, Yancey. Hi, doggo. What in the... Triple question mark. Hey, that was my rival in uh, Gold and Silver. Fun fact, I actually named my rival Triple question mark because I didn't realize it was asking me to name the guy at first. Okay, well, let's fucking go. Oh, okay. Huh. Oh, okay. Oh. We wide it out. That dog beat the shit out of us.